Hello, my fellow warrior of love. Welcome to another stream. Today's focus is going to be about Palestine, about uh, occupied pa Palestine, about what is now called Israel. And if you are aware, I mean, it's hard to, I mean, if you're aware of what's going on, if you're not aware of what's going on, definitely That's tune time. in. My intention is to share, like, just share it from my perspective. My perspective, you know, it might be a little different. Um, and I want to make it simple. And I want to make it non-divisive, which is kind of tricky. Uh, but my intentions are to raise our awareness, raise our consciousness. It's like if someone is a quantum physicist, um, how can they share that stuff in a very grounded way for us to all understand so i feel I, I like to simplify things i like to make it nice and grounded um and it, sometimes it's very complex but sometimes very simple so that's my intention with you if you are someone who's who's caring about what's going on there and wants to raise your awareness and consciousness about what's happening there uh, maybe make a difference maybe just be a part of it uh, we, we can't not be a part of it because it actually affects the whole planet. Uh, then stick around. So if you're joining us for the first time, my name is Tariq Lisbivi and I help spiritual healers thrive doing what they love. And I'm here to raise the consciousness of planet Earth by spreading truth and healing. And I do it through my music. I do it through videos like this. And I do it through my healing, an infinity healing modality that I created. So Palestine. Um, I'll go as far back, I mean, go all the way back, and you're re when you're reading the Bible, you're reading about Palestine. Um, it, it's gone through many names. I think it was called Israel at one point. At one point, it was called Belad Sham, the countries of Sham, uh, which then got divided into Syria, Palestine, Lebanon. Uh, I think that the Romans had, yeah, the Romans definitely had a part of that. Uh, you know, the Romans were like the bad guys. Um, and, and there's this beautiful uh, movie about uh, Abraham, right? And it just shows these beautiful people in that land um, living, you know, quite a simple life. And this one prophet, Abraham, which is recognized, obviously, in Judaism because he was a Jew, um, which is recognized in the Bible, right? Uh, and which is recognized in Islam. So just to, uh, just to, if you're not aware, Abrahamic, that's what we call them, Abrahamic religions or Judo-Christian religions. But it's uh, started with Abraham. So... And from that, we get um, the Torah. I mean, I'm not a scholar at this at all, but like, which then gets translated into, uh, which then becomes the Bible, right? That, you know, the Bible were, was a culmination of all these things. Obviously, the people creating it didn't have the best intentions in their hearts, so they you know, they got rid of so many things, including the Gospel of Judas and uh, the Gospel of Mary Magdalene. And, you know, it's just very pick and choose what serves them to control humanity. They're like, oh, my God, this movement is really powerful. How can we co-opt it? Um, just like what happens with movements worldwide. Any positive spiritual light movement that is from love. Uh, the dark forces want to co-opt it, right? So when Hollywood was making movies, there was this big wipeout of anyone who was deemed a communist. I don't know if they probably wiped out all the people using movies in a good way or what's happening now with uh, you, with social media. Anyone speaking the truth, it's getting, you know, uh, compromised. And these movie channels and Hollywood and uh, hip-hop music was so powerful and it's been co-opted, right? In the mainstream at least but we're not listening to the mainstream we're supporting real artists like myself and many others that are uh, creating positive real music uncompromised so 
and they gave us the Bible. And so my ancestry as an Arab, as a full-blooded Arab in this lifetime, Arab meaning I am from, my dad's from Lebanon, his dad was born in Palestine. It was called Palestine before 1948. That wasn't too long ago, 1940, before 1948, it was called Palestine. I call it Occupied Palestine. I never say I am a Canadian. I say I was given a Canadian citizenship. Try to remember to honor this land that we're on and calling it Turtle Island uh, because it's the same, it's similar. It's a similar issue um, here, here in, North, in North America with the, with the native peoples of this land. So, granddad leaves Palestine, goes to Lebanon a few years before 1948. My research shows, and so much information is coming to light about this, but the truth is coming out about everything that, you know, was was we only knew now everyone knows it's amazing and and some of them are knowing more than than I, than we know um because it's like a whole magnifying glass is being put on those on the on, on those peoples on those lands and they're i think they're able to separate truth from fiction um i think they're able to go wait a minute this is not right uh whereas before it was like imagine living in a building and there's just like this big tough bully that everyone's afraid of and just beats the shit out of his partner and no one says anything right so now the whole building is like hey we know what's going on they're not stopping it from happening but they're aware that it's happening i feel that's the first step and in the past uh, you know it's it's sad because um that bully had so much power that bully had so much power. Like, you do not understand how much power this bully has and had is losing it now. Um, but it's like, hey, if, if anyone was to approach this bully and say, hey, that's not okay what you're doing to Palestinians. It's like, hey, you're an anti-Semite. You're racist towards Jews. And the word Semitic means people of that land, of Arab and Jews of that land. So that brings me to this next question, which is, how come Arabs are never called Semites? You know, how come when it's such a double standard because the definition of Semite is people of those lands, right? So my ancestors lived in the same land that Jesus lived in. The same country. Maybe my ancestors met Jesus. I don't know. But the, in the way, there's so much propaganda by this group of people, and you gotta you gotta under, understand the word Zionist. Zionist is a political movement that has nothing to do with Judaism. We gotta separate those two, because there are Jews that are not okay with what these Zionist people are doing. Zionists are like, this country's ours. We got to get rid of these Palestinians. And this is our land. And uh, then you get uh, like a, a step uh, below that or deeper than that is, uh, is, is understanding what the Talmudists uh, are. And, and remembering that there was a time that the Jews went to were sent to uh were, were, were kicked out of of uh ancient palestine israel and went to ancient babylon now if you study babylon you know that those are the people that uh worship baal and would do child sacrifices i'm sure that you know i'm sure it had some good but like when 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 we use the word Babylon when it's used in um, Rastafar, Rastafarian culture. You know, Babylon, they're aware that that was like the, the god Nimrod, Baal, child sacrifice, the dark arts, witch, witch, uh, witchcraft, black magic. Uh, I wouldn't say witchcraft, I'd say black magic. 
demons and all this kind of stuff. All this stuff would happen there. Like, uh, and it feels like to me that we got to distinguish between the like Babylonian influenced group of people that uh, call themselves Jews. Um, I don't know what's that. What's the equivalent? Uh, it's like the equivalent of a bunch of Americans that, you know, a bunch of Americans, a uh, percentage of Americans that are, let's use the word, um, shit, it's so tricky because it's so easy to say Luciferian, say Satanist, and those things are so misunderstood. But let's say they're, um, they worship the darkness. Let's call them Satanists, although that's not the right term. Uh, and they, they work with black magic, right? So if there is a group of people in America that are practicing this, and there is, and they're rising to power, and they are, um, that doesn't mean, what that means is Americans need to go, wait a minute, uh, that does not represent America. This group of people does not represent America. Like Freemasons, although founded uh, what is called the United States, even though it was there before, um, and also research uh, the six, I think, six presidents before the so-called first president, and uh, research uh, the Moors, research... Uh, research uh yeah research the presidents before research more you don't have to that's just another rabbit hole but we've been lied to basically with obviously the natives and research research blacks uh research native black uh, research native dark-skinned native dark-skinned indigenous peoples of america so so, so it's complex, just like America is very complex, um, Israel, Palestine is complex. But to keep it simple, there is a, a group of people, cabal, there's a cabal of people um, that have been practicing these old, archaic, outdated, like there's no room for this in the new world, in the new earth. Um, ways of child sacrifice and this kind of stuff. And they've continued it. This is their religion, right? Just like you may have a religion that you follow uh, Christ or Prophet Muhammad or God. Um, they have a religion and they hide behind the umbrella term of Jewish or uh, Jew or, or yeah, being Jewish as a, as a culture. Also very tricky about the Jewish culture is every other ethnicity, for the most part, um, it's like your blood is Native American. Your ancestry was here in Native America. Um, in, in America, uh, what is called America, Turtle Island. Um, Arabs, I know my ancestry, like they come from the Middle East, some from Turkey. But what makes Israel different, it's it's because it's um, it basically said anyone who follows this religion uh, come to this. You're all welcome to this country. So what happened was in 1948, the, you know, what was happening with the Jews in Nazi Germany and then research how the Zionists, it's a chess game, research how the Zionists um who are behind the scenes, pulling strings, creating world wars. Their, their way of making things happen is create the problem, people react, uh, and then offer the solution, right? So if they were just to go and attack Palestine for no reason, the whole world would say this is wrong. Maybe, hopefully they would. I mean, they did that. But at least if they've created... Uh, terrible atrocities towards Jews in Nazi Germany, then at least they have that as leverage. At least when the September 11th um, buildings fell, 
America's government can use that as leverage to go and, um, and, and attack Iraq and Afghanistan, right? And Syria and like, it just you, they just use that as leverage. Just like Israel uses Hamas as leverage. Uh, Hamas, there, there was a time we had the PLO, Palestinian Liber Liberation Organization, and um, there were different groups that were uh, there to protect. Um, there were a political movement. Um, but I feel like you, Israel, Hamas are like, the flip side of the coin. And, and if there's research that says Israel is what helped kind of eliminate the opposing um, movements that were helping Palestinians, and then there was this there was this this one that was left, and it's almost like they're like that helps us because we need uh, and it's it's a Muslim, right? It's an Islamic uh, ideology like uh, it's not about the nation of Palestine. We must protect the nation of a Palestine. They destroyed our army, so we will We will be the people's army. It uh, has uh, extreme uh, Islamic and maybe some non-extreme Islamic ideologies. And I don't think that's healthy. Uh, it's just like an American being like, hey, I didn't vote for this guy. <laughs> You know, some Palestinians are like, hey, I have nothing to do with this. They're, they're running stuff. Uh, I feel Israel needs Hamas in order to justify all the killings. They need them. If, if, you, if Israel wanted to wipe out Hamas, they would have wiped out Hamas. If Israel wanted to co-opt it, they would have co-opted it. So in modern warfare, you don't just, you don't, you don't, in America, you don't, uh, you know, if you if you want to wipe out, if you don't want a Black Panther Part Two to happen, you don't um, wipe out all the black people or you know the the melanated skin people. Uh, and and research just don't use the word black. It's it's it it it's a, it's word magic that gives their power away. It gives your power away so that you 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 don't have your rights anymore. So don't use that word. Or I recommend researching it. I will not use that word. You do what you want. Uh, and where was I? I thought this was gonna be really um, simple and light, and I'm like, oh my god, my heart's my heart's beating, and I'm feeling really raw and vulnerable. Um, and so. They need Hamas, just like, um, uh, you know, people were like, well, um, I don't want to compare Hamas to the Black Panther Party. But it's easy. I remember posting something about Black Panthers, and I remember someone um, like a uh, non-melanated person was... Uh, oh, fuck, I hate these labels, but... Someone was like, hey, those people were extreme. And it's so easy. I'm not defending uh, extremists at all. There's, ex I feel like extremists on all sides uh, is not healthy. Extreme Christian Extremists in Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Satanism. Like, there's extremes in everything. And I don't think that's healthy. That's not healthy. Um you know, you want to be like, a, you want to be a Christian, be a true Christian. You want to be a Muslim, be a true Muslim. And um, man, I remember speaking to this Afghani guy here in Toronto, just like a few months ago, he was our Uber driver. And I could, I could feel like I, I grew up in Dubai, and it's a Muslim country, and I was surrounded by Muslims, but I never, I can't say I never met an extremist. Um, I met maybe one extremist my whole life um but these zionists run hollywood and so america looks at arabs as uh, extremists that's the equivalent of every time you show uh, i don't know if it's the equivalent but it's similar to every time 
Hollywood creates a movie with someone who's melanated. Melanated means their their skin is dark, darker skinned because they're absorbing more um, energy from the sun. So I'm going to start using that word instead of black uh, because black is like it's like there's so so many colors, right? You can't just say one color, and it's not even a race. And it's, it's it's a it's a it's a black mad like even the word black magic, right? But it's a magical mindfuck term. Um, so imagine every time you watch a movie, it's like an extreme Black Panther with guns, and it's easy for us. It's easy for Americans to go, oh, that's so extreme. They're they're aggressive, right? Are you? But but it's harder to go. What caused them to get to that level of of uh, militant, uh, uh, extreme? Um, you know what? Obviously, there's a line that gets crossed. But what causes? And I'm not promoting crossing that line. Um, and I think everyone's conscious decides what that uh, what that line is. But if someone, if, fuck man, I watched this documentary yesterday. Like these cops, literally, there, 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 there is there is darkness in 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 all these organizations. But there's definitely darkness in the military. There's darkness in, um, you know, when you see uh, people, you know, innocent. innocent Arab Muslim people in places like Guantanamo and these so-called mil U.S. military are kind of putting them in ritualistic uh, positions and torturing them. Um, there's some there's darkness in in that in that organization all for sure, and there's darkness in cops. Like I witnessed in this documentary yesterday, and I cried so much, and it was like a a bunch of cops, a gang of cops. Taking away this uh, couple, um, I don't know if they were Mexican or white American, but taking away their child, like literally kidnapping them, kidnapping the child by force. And then who knows what happens to the child because there's a whole, you know, um, what do you call it? Sex, sex slave industry. And who protects you from those corrupt cops? What do you do when the uh, the ones that are there to protect are not there? Uh, are 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 the ones you need protection from? What do you do in that case? What do you do? What are the solutions? Do you just sit back and just watch them come in and kill your mom and kill your dad and put your dad in prison, put your mom in prison, put your brother in prison, put your sister in prison, kill them, kill you, torture them? Like, how how much more do you just take it? And I feel like, I feel like Zion, there's a doc, beautiful video called Planet planet of the arabs as a pun like playing with the title planet of the apes i'm gonna wrap this up soon and they sh it was beautiful because it showed it's disturbing actually it showed every hollywood movie depicting arabs as terrorists Hey, remember that movie about the Arabs? And it was just really, um, you know, they depicted the Arabs as a hero and they were loving and they, they were humanitarians. No, me neither, because it's never been made in Hollywood. So it's important to know even American culture, like you got to research Aleister Crowley. Like you, you got to know that culture is being created like you gotta you gotta understand these people who go into nations and and raise the nation and then destroy that nation and move on with all the better profits you know you gotta study who who's been who's been who's behind the scenes playing playing these things and i'm not saying it's anyone you do the research but Best believe there's been something from the very s creation of the uh, idea of the United States of America. And they had their own intentions and they, they had their own purpose. And, you know, a bunch of us are just 
collateral damage were just being used and for their own good, right? And just like, you know, I, you know a lot of time, like I'm here in Canada, I'm living on stolen land. Um, just, and there's tons of people that I've met and know and, and that are in Israel and they're, they're like, this is not okay, this is not cool. And they're trying to create bridges with... Um, but it's set up in a way that makes it so hard. It's set up, um, like imagine the country, imagine Canada's like, hey, let's, we're going to give away 1% of everything we earn to Native American, uh, to free education. And like, it, the solutions are simple, but it's it's systematic racism. It's um, segregation. It's... Um, it's the continuation of trying to wipe out a nation, you know? And the same thing in Palestine. And it's sad to... That's why whenever I go on, you know, talk shows or um, summits or online things where I can speak to a lot of people, I always, I always like to remind people, like, I am Palestinian. My, my granddad is Palestinian. My dad's Lebanese. My mom's Syrian. Because then they can go, oh, wow, look. You know, this is a heart-centered... Uh, person that I can relate to and uh, has good intentions and yeah but I, I it, it did feel it does feel I feel disconnected from my people I feel disconnected from my culture I definitely feel disconnected from from the lands of my ancestors you know I don't have family in Palestine that I'm aware of I have some family in Lebanon I have family in Anyways, so getting back on track. So Palestinians are the ultimate underdog. In the past, because Zionists, you know, there's there's Zionist owned, you know, Kanye recently put a video and I'll do a whole thing on Kanye because it's almost dangerous now to say Kanye because then you go, oh, racist. Not true. Um and there's this, anyways, forget Kanye, there's this image, there's a picture, and it just shows, like, head of media, biggest corporations in America, and, like, we're, as as Arabs, we're aware that things like CNN, for example, are Zionist-owned, you know, that, that, that there are certain, me but guess what, they've even updated the word anti-Semite to be like, hey, if you say that a bunch of Zionists run and own these corporations, which research it for yourself, and let's say it's true, then then you're anti-Semite for connecting those dots. You're anti-Semitic for connecting those dots. That's how ridiculous it's, it's come to. Uh, so it's like, again, it's that narcissist that goes, you know, if, if you question, if you go up to the nar narcissist bully in the building and you're like, hey, you're abusing your partner, that's not okay. Hey, you're you're abusing me right now. You're harassing me right now. I'm the victim, right? So the narcissist always plays victim. That's their survival mechanism. Same thing with these um, politicians. Another important thing to know about Israel is, but now, so just to conclude that, is like Palestinians are looked at as the other. Who cares? They're all the way there. We don't know much about them. Why do we care? Like I was listening to something today and they were saying the vape, there's a whole movement with the vapes, you know, those, those cigarettes, electric cigarettes. And something to do with, uh, was it Congo or some part of Africa? See, the fact that I don't know it is part of the being, living in the Western culture, you know, what's happening in Africa. That's by design. Uh, same thing as an American being like, what's going on in Palestine? Or when someone, the other day, my friend was like, you're from Iran, right? And I was just like, really? How ignorant? But then I had the same thing with my European friends. I'm like, are you in, um, you know, uh, are you Swedish or German or like, <laughs> so, <laughs> or friend. Um, so same thing, right? So how can we, all we're doing right now is raising our awareness. And the beautiful thing is that the awareness has increased more than ever before towards Palestine. And Israel and, and all these things that were hidden. Uh, because it's part of the age of Aquarius. The age of Aquarius is, the motto is, I know. It's not, 
you know, age of Pisces, which we're coming out of, was religion. Pisces, the fish, Jesus. Bless the multitudes, something to do with the fish. Uh, represented as a fish, which is really Vesica Pisces, age of Aquarius. Um, even the word Vesica Pisces, Pisces, right? Piscean age. Uh, and then when the Jews blow the horn, the ram horns, the ram is Aries, right? That was the age of Aries. That came before the age of Pisces. Uh, wait, did I get that right? Pisces, Aries. Oh, it's going that way. Got it. Okay, so it was age of Aries, age of Pisces, and then before Pisces is the age of Aquarius. Okay, so it goes... I always get... I'm, I'm dyslexic, so it goes like that. Uh, Aquarius. Yeah, I just don't have the... Yeah, Pisces is the last one. So it is going that way because pi right after Pisces is Aries because I'm a Air I'm P Pisces cusp Aries I'm in the middle, so yeah it's going to Age of Aquarius. <sighs> um, let me wrap this up. So I'm very grateful that there's more awareness now more than ever. Um, I'm I'm grateful that there's um I'm, I'm my heart cries for innocent people dying uh palestine israel everywhere um uh, how do i conclude this so how can you be a part of what's going on. Well, just be aware. Increase your awareness. Increase your consciousness. If you're listening to a podcast, just type in something about Palestine. Know that there are... It's easy for me to go, oh, that person's propaganda. That person's speaking the truth. There's so many people who are Palestinians and non-Palestinians who've been aware of the truth, of, who are such, um, you know, that are in solidarity you know, just like with the Black Panther Party, like even John Lennon at one point, he, he was hanging out with a lot of Black Panthers and created a, a very political uh, album uh, before they killed him, before he got shot. Uh, so, you know, even actors like Marlon Brando would talk about, um, you know, the plight of uh, Native Americans. At one point, instead of uh, receiving an award, he sent uh, this Native American woman to uh, to receive his award on his behalf, and he talked about um, the Black Panthers and yeah. So you can use your. But then, what happened to Marlon Brando after that, right? So if 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 you want to know who's in control, f find out who's censoring and. It's, it's weird, man. I don't know. Like, there is a political movement that is like, ah, we don't want Palestinians because we want, we want Israel to work. We want us to have, we want to win, right? It's like, you want your team to win. And if my team has some corruption, you know, I might not want to support it. I know it's not easy, but it's important. Um, it's a, uh, it's really important to make this, uh, it's not, it's not something, it's really important for you to know that this is not something that's out there, especially if you're an American, because when you research Epstein, Epstein was a Mossad agent. Mossad is the CIA of Israel. And they were used and they were behind this huge sex trafficking industry in America, kidnapping our children in America, selling them for the worst things you can imagine. I was listening to an interview today and they were saying that Israeli journalists are admitting the fact that Israel is a, um, a, a haven for sex traffickers, sexual abusers. They go there and they're like, oh, we're safe here. Well, that's that's a big, why would I, like, that's a big concern. Why is that okay? Uh, 
it's so it, it brings it back home right because we're selfish by nature like I, we have to like i admit it i'm selfish by nature it, it doesn't involve my 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 tribe my team um i i have empathy but i have more empathy when it's directly relating to my people i'm, I'm saying this as but it's not true because i also care so much about native americans and and and, and, and racism and, and things that you know people thought i was white this whole time um and after 9 11 i would wear that palestinian head wrap i would wear it around my head like every day being like i'm not gonna hide i'm not gonna hide um and canada's different you know it would have been very very different in the states i've only i mean being being tr i've been treated lesser than you know in school since a kid my whole life so it's not the first time but i do remember um do you remember this chef that I worked with here in Toronto who just said the most racist shit I've ever heard towards me about my heritage? And, and I realized that I was living with a friend who knew that he crossed the line with a woman and he was doing his best to try to get me to not want to work there. Um, yeah, I think karma is already taken care of him. But... Uh, to conclude, Israel, Mossad, it's their CIA, Jeffrey Epstein, right? That whole empire, Epstein and, and Maxwell, uh, Ghislaine Maxwell. You got to research her. You got to research her father. You got to research Epstein. Uh, you got to research the connection, like who these people are connected to, right? So how is uh, Bill Gates able to continue to thrive and do all this stuff when there's evidence that he hung out with this criminal? And we got to, you know, why? There was supposedly this black book that had everyone who would go there and partake in, in all this sex trafficking stuff. Why is it that they, why is all this, like, why are we so fighting over stupid shit? Like, why is that not the priority? And why is this not the biggest concern? Like, to me, knowing that Israel is a racist state towards people of melanated skin, like they treat Ethiopian Jews lesser than, like it's a racist uh, state. Immediately, if I was melanated, I'd be like, hey, that's not cool. I'm with the people that I'm, I'm not okay with that. So we create solidarity with those people. So to me, it's very simple to see. And if I'm an American, even a white American, and I'm like, holy shit, Epstein is an agent of Mossad. And one level, it's like a multi-tier uh, ways of making money. One level was pimping out all these kidnapped children through sex trafficking, which is slavery. And it goes even darker. Um, as an American citizen, as a human, I'm like, that is not okay um something needs to happen what are the repercussions oh these guys run shit and they're not doing anything about it what do we as a people do some what do we do about it so to me it's really easy to see the unification because so what they would do if you ever watched uh one of the godfather movies there's a scene where the mafia uh the the mafia uh character would go up to uh this politician i think he was a texan or he just had a, an american accent like uh i don't know if he was a yeah it might have been like a texan accent and he was the he was running for politics and I, the mafia guys were like hey we need you to let us do this this and that he was like no and they're like okay so then they have um they have him because it's like whatever your weakness is they'll exploit it so for him it was prostitutes right so they had him with a prostitute, they drugged him. He wakes up the next morning, the prostitute's in the bed, dead, dead killed. Um, and uh, similar to the scene in, in Eyes Wide Shut, Stanley Kubrick's movie, 
and uh, so then that's how that they, they use that as blackmail now now that politicians like oh shit you guys have footage and and you have proof that I killed supposedly killed because these mafia people could easily just um, kill uh, kill that prostitute themselves video record the politician with the dead prostitute they could place an underage prostitute right like they could set it up however they want and this is a secret CIA organization they definitely can do that and and they just have all this compromised information on all these high level people so they have them by the balls they they own them in a way that's why when America says, hey, America, send us billions of dollars, America's like, here you go. Anything else? <laughs> why? Why does, why, why do they do that? You know, why? And, and just question these things, you know? We got to separate ourselves. If you're, if you're a hero, if you're a warrior, if you're a soldier, don't be a soldier for, the, for that. Be, we got to become our own. Do it for the right reasons. Like, be a cop for the right reason. Do what a cop is supposed to do. If you're a teacher, do what a teacher is supposed to do, not what the system wants you to do. And so knowing that, knowing that Israel has America by the balls, by proxy, based on what I just shared, that instantly in my mind goes, whoa, now all of America is united against this threat. Now all, so we're not going to sit back and all these people who are like, you know, cease fire now, cease fire now. Those politicians will die before us but saying the truth because these people have these people, politicians and countries by the balls based on high level of um, coercion and uh, James Bond type shit, right? So, um, so we can't, you know, it's, it's not about them anymore. It's like now... It's us, man. We take matters into our own hands. Uh, so in my mind, I visualize, I vision America coming together. People coming together with Palestinians, coming together with um, Native Americans, coming together with melanated people, like uniting all these fronts. It's no longer this race, this religion versus that. It's love warriors warriors of love you know i was watching this documentary yesterday and it was it was christians and i was like my fucking beautiful christian brothers and sisters like i'm not that but i was like i love that like you're like i'm in solidarity with what you guys are doing and it's not about their belief system it's about that they were uniting against th this dark threat that we have it's like if we were all in one village and there was one uh, psychopath who was murdering uh, a person every night, right? Would I go, hey, I'm not going to, you know, we're, you know, that's, you're a Muslim, you're a Christian, you're a Jew. No, we're going to go, hey, let's come together, people. I don't care. When we have a, something be bigger than us, it doesn't matter the small differences. We unite. Hey, we're coming together. We will find out what was happening, uh, what was hap what, 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 what's who's killing our children, right? Doesn't matter what your religion is. But what do we see now? Christians versus the the gay, you know, the, the rainbow tribe versus the Muslims and Christians, and you know, Palestinian and Israel, and it's like black versus white, native white, and it's like that's the devil's trick. Right, and the greatest trick that devil ever pulled was proving to the world he didn't exist. Um, so let's stop falling for the deceit. Let's unite our forces. Uh, so it's like truth warriors, love warriors, united. Because we have more in common. Um, and join that movement. You are that movement. You're part of that movement. You are that movement. And and, and let's unify, let's bring people together um, because there's power in numbers and we can um, be more and do more. And I want to create a, a, a resource where we all come together 
share information, share resources, share the truth. What did Jesus say? Uh, you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free, something like that. And that's what I feel right now. I've been doing, a f you know, 15 years of putting out healing content, healing content, healing content. And, and when this thing started, I was like, shit, the clock's ticking, guys. The clock is freaking ticking. I've known this for some time. I'm witnessing it now. Clock's ticking. It's like, what's really important right now? Um, because... That, you know, if you didn't watch that Netflix movie of something about the world ending, that was created by Barack Obama. Barack Obama was like, oh, you're going to make that movie? Let us make it. And what that means is CIA is making it, which what that means is there is propaganda in it. There is mind control in it. There's brainwashing in it. There's subliminals in it. There's a scene where you see 666. There's a scene where you see uh, NASA... And it's like uh, one kid wearing Obey, one kid wearing NASA, Obey NASA. Um, you know, there's so much into it that has come out. Like, there's so much information. Um, I, I feel like TikTok, I, I'm, I was really surprised because TikTok, um, although it has its dark side, has a lot of truth coming through it, like an abundance of, of, of uh, rabbit holes and, and hidden truths. So if you're not on it, I'd recommend getting an account or just going on TikTok on your phone just to see this content because um, it's there and it's spreading and this new generation is not falling for the, the crap. Like maybe our, the, oh, their parents, you know, were like, oh, commie, we got to fight against communists and we got to do this and that. But the new generation is like, no, nah, they're, they're seeing through it. Age of Aquarius millennial generation like you know it's just a whole different frequency it's a different vibe it's a different mindset and you know yes there is shadow and negative in every generation like i love the older generation i'm like okay you know i'm marrying you till the end we're raising a family you know family values um you know religious principles uh, uh discipline you know that kind of stuff and in the new generation, it's like, why do I need to go to school? Why do I need to? Why, why can't I just do what I love? You know, so there's evolution in that sense, um, as well as devolution. Um, but they're, they also have more information like, oh, yeah, that's what's happening. Uh, no, that's not what's happening. You are you guys are lying to us. It's complete bullshit. And I'm going to use this technology that you are using to control us. We're going to use it to wake and wake up humanity. So in conclusion, <laughs> I'm only leaving because I've got laundry that's already that's already ready. I don't want to stay wet. Uh, in conclusion, what like that movie it, there, there's to conclude, come back to self, come back to source, come back to God, right? When you have so much faith, that's what I got tattooed right there. When you, when you truly, genuinely have real knowingness of who you are, knowingness of what this life is, what happens when we die, what is God, then, then there's this like beautiful spiritual warrior not humility, but like a, no fear. Worst case, go back home. And that's a whole other thing. Trying to make it back home when you die. That's a whole, that's a whole other video. So, you know, they're, if you're not aware, they're telling us through these movies like the one in, on Netflix that the, things are going to change drastically. I'm not trying to share this to create fear, to create awareness, and to help us prepare. And in the movie, they say the best, best thing you can get out of this is you are aware that something's about to happen. That's like the best case scenario is you're aware. It's not the best case. The best case is we take action, we mobilize, we unite, we go, you know... I, I, like I remember when I was about to um, uh, anchor in into land in British Columbia, Canada, 
I just, I was so isolated. I was on top of this mountain, like, felt like I was on top of a mountain, isolated from a lot of things and people, but united with nature and God. And it was so beautiful because I would just, I would just like, I just have the download. I was like, there's, there's, you can't, like, you can. There's a lot, there's this mindset of like, I'm going to buy land here, do my thing. I'm going to go to Mexico, buy land. I'm going to tell all my friends to come buy land. And it's like, there has to be that bridge. And I remember seeing it. It's like, you will not thrive. You will not survive the new economy if you don't unite forces with those that have been living on this land from the beginning of time. You, you just the old ways of thinking of like, I'll buy it and money and, and like, that's going to die out soon. What are you left with? There, there are people who lifetime after lifetime are in tune with the lands that we're living on, are in tune with the cycles, are in tune with so much with, with spirit, with the lands, with the forest, with the medicine, with the, you know, there's cultures that when someone's sick in the community, bring that, per everyone loves the crap out of that person. Like, what do we do? We send them to prison. We send them to psychiatric wards. Like, we don't have it right. The system does not work. The world that we're in now, it's not working. It's falling apart. And we, we need to go back to old ways, merge, but bridge that with new ways, old and new. Um, we have to, we have to unite. We have to unite with our... Uh, indigenous brothers and sisters we have to we have to support them and we'll go back to the win-win you know i help you you help me uh, i have medicine for you I have medicine for me uh, what can i share you know when i when i went to sundance um, it's like what can i share it's always like in community what how can i support is is really what you ask with that humility um, because this 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 system has failed us um you know you can oh, fuck man this documentary they're they're taking kids away from americans um in hospitals it's so dark it's so dark and we're still you know it's like imagine a different timeline where americans were were like in harmony with native americans and you know the medicine you know they both they both helped each other revolve and move forward there's a sickness, you know, there's a disease on our planet. It's a sickness and it's a disease and it's um, it's like it wants to just consume, consume, consume at all costs. And it just wants more and more power, more and more control, uh, more and more energy, uh, more and more life force. And it's like it knows, it knows its time is up. And so it's trying to suck out as much as it can before it goes out, before that fire goes out. So my, in conclusion, like there, these people in the know are creating bunkers, if you're not aware. Um, Mark, what, what was Mark Zuckerberg, whatever that entity is right now. Um, is building this huge bunker, uh, million dollar, million, billion, million, who knows, dollar bunker um, in Hawaii. So what, what that's telling you is they know something's coming. So there's definitely going to, you know, there's definitely potential for wars. There's definitely earth stuff, earthquakes or hurricanes, fires, both real and manipulated uh, and there's solar flares, there's uh, melting of the ice caps, there's all these things that are happening, which is cyclical. You know, if you research when was the last time this happened and, you know, the last flood and how often that happens. Like, this is not just because we start the clock at like, you know, around the time of, uh, you know, um, Judaism or Jesus, you know, that kind of is like, that's where it started. Uh, or even Adam and Eve this morning, I got the download, like, just because we say it started in the Adam and Eve, that's, um, that's very, that's, that's cute, you know, it's like, it's been, there's been, 
galaxies and universes and, and, and so much. And, and that's our beginning, right? It's like us saying there was nothing before kindergarten. Yeah, before kindergarten, there was the great um, uh, uh, Library of Alexandria. And there was like all this stuff that happened. Atlantis and ancient Egypt. And, and we're like, what? There was something before kindergarten? Yes, there was something before kindergarten. Um, and you existed before you were born, right? So if a kid's like, what? No, my, my journey started when I was conceived. No, your journey did not start when you were conceived. Your journey, you've always been. But that part of you has always been, you always will be. Anyways, I will conclude now with I love you very much. Thank you for taking the time to be with me. I thought I was going to do a short 15, 20 minute video. It is close to an hour. I love these talks. I enjoy them. I have no clue if you're enjoying them. So please, in the comments, let me know if you've even made it this far. And if you have, if you're enjoying these type of videos, because I've done four before this, it's a whole series called Break Free from the Matrix. And they're all around an hour long. And I would like to know if you'd like me to continue this or not. If I'm you know, actually reaching you and speaking to you, please let me know in the comments and let me know what you want me to talk about. I want to create and like, let me know how long, what you want me to talk about. Let me know how long you'd like me to talk about. I talk a lot more like podcast form format, which reminds me, I should probably upload these into a podcast. Um, and let me know if you want them shorter, sweeter, blah, 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 blah. Love you. Thank you so much. Keep shining. And um, there was this thing about hope I read today, and I wonder if it's still here, because I was going to conclude by saying I hope everything works out, but I'd rather... Here we go. Tao Te Ching, verse 13. Success is as dangerous as failure. Hope is as hollow as fear. What does it mean that success is as dangerous as failure? Whether you go up the ladder or down it, your position is shaky. When you stand with your two feet on the ground, you will always keep your balance. What does it mean that hope is as hollow as fear? Hope and fear are both phantoms that arise from thinking of the self. When we don't see the self as self, what do we have to fear? See the world as yourself. Have faith in the way things are. Love the world as yourself. Then you can care for all things. Thought, I thought that was really cool. All right, guys. See you soon. Peace.